sweet music. As a matter of fact, there's nothing so melodious to a father's ears than to hear his son say, gee, Dad, I'm glad to see you. I sure am. I need some money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for one foolish moment there, I thought you were glad to see me for myself alone. How much do you have to have? Well, we're all going out for sodas, so... Oh, I don't need that much, Daddy. One will do it. <laughs> oh, I hate to leave, but the guys are waiting, you know? Yeah. I can see you having trouble carrying yourself away from me. <laughs> By the way, Russ, uh, wait a minute. Did, didn't I give you a dollar yesterday? Yep. Bye. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What'd you do with the dollar? I don't know. You Bye. Don't... Wait a minute, will you please? I would like to talk to you for a second. Just happen to think I gave you a dollar yesterday. All of a sudden, you don't know where it is. I mean, you've got to have a little more respect for money. Now, sit down. I mean, what kind of a father do you think I am? Well, all I can say is, if they were trying to find the world's best father, I'd sure vote for you. I'm sorry, son, but I'm gonna have to take back that dollar. You just lost my vote. <laughs> With or without your vote, it's my obligation to try to be the best father I can be. Now, son, this is ridiculous. What'd you spend the money on? What happened to it? Well, it, it, it went. It went. Just like that, it got up and went, right? Did it wave goodbye? No, it was going too fast. Now you cut that out. <laughs> What'd you spend it on? Soda, candy, huh? Games, etc. Yep. Yep, what? Soda, candy, games, etc. <laughs> you come over here. I want an accounting of every penny you spent. Now let's go. Dollars don't grow on trees. Let's have it. Well, uh, 12 cents went into the gumball machine. 12 cents for the gumball machine. You had to have 12 gumballs, of course. Well, is it my fault the red one didn't come out right away? <laughs> Heaven forbid you should eat a green one. Well, that's 12 cents well spent. Next. Then uh, 30 cents for three ice cream cones. Three ice cream cones? Well, now I know where the rest of the money went to. For a stomach pump. <laughs> I didn't eat all three of them. Red and Benji were with me. I couldn't have one without them having one, could I? No, no, I guess not. All right, what else? Uh, 27 cents for lunch at school. 27 cents. Lunch at school? Don't you take a lunch from home? Yeah. So? So I wasn't in the mood for tuna fish. <laughs> I see. All right, what else? Uh, 10 cents went to Freddie Hirsch. For what? To take the tuna fish off my hands. <laughs> Why would you have to give him 10 cents to take the tuna fish off your hand? He doesn't like tuna fish either. <laughs> I knew there was a logical explanation. Go ahead, what else? Then three cents went to Linda. Three cents to Linda for what? Not to tell Mom I gave away the tuna fish. <laughs> How much is left? 18 cents. Uh, 18 cents for setters. Now you know where the dollar went. Bye. Wait a minute, come back. Come back. 18 cents for et cetera. Sit down. What do you think? You're playing with kids? Now, you see here, young fella. It's high time you and I had a talk. Uh-oh. What did you do now? <laughs> hey, what happened? What's the matter? I'm having a talk with your son. Oh, I see. <laughs> My son? He must have done something terrible. Oh, no. He's just the last of the big spenders. <laughs> One dollar he spent yesterday. A whole dollar on such essential items as red gumballs, ice cream, and hush money. <laughs> Not to mention dumping tuna fish on the open market. <laughs> and 18 cents for et ceteras. Et ceteras? What are they, Russ? Oh, don't ask him. He can't be bothered with such trivial matters. Rusty, how could you waste a whole dollar like that? I didn't waste it, Mom. I got my money's worth. Correction. You didn't get your money's worth, you got my money's worth. Rusty, you've just got to learn to think ahead. 
When you spent all that money yesterday, what did you think you were going to do for money today? I thought I'd ask for another dollar. <laughs> really, Rusty, you have got to learn some responsibility. Honey, let me handle this, you will you please? I was talking to the boy and doing pretty well before you came in. If you don't mind, why don't you ladies just go and busy yourselves, huh? Well, all right, if a mother's opinion doesn't mean anything Honey, around here. let's not have a fight about it. It isn't a matter of opinion. I was just talking to the boy. Let me finish it already, all right? Very well. Linda, you can take your shoes upstairs. Now look, son. Rusty? Yeah? When he gets to the part about how hard it was to earn a dollar when he was your age, call me. Now you cut that out. <laughs> I remember all of it. Never mind. Get out of here. <laughs> Kids. Now look, boy, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to give you the dollar. How about 75 cents? You've got to learn to have more respect for money. Fifty cents? It isn't the amount, it's the principle. Twenty-five cents? Russ! If I go any lower, I'll be in the twilight zone. All right! <laughs> I'm not bargaining with you. Gee whiz, Daddy, it's only a dollar. Only a dollar. Get you Diamond Jim Williams. Only a dollar. I don't get it. Why do you grown-ups have to have all the money? All you do is worry about it and hang on to it. You never use it. If I ever had any money, I'd show you what to do with it. Now, what would you do with it? I'd have fun with it. Me, my friends, everybody. Gotcha. If somebody wanted a dollar, I'd give it to them. Yeah. You wouldn't catch me making a big fuss about it. Gotcha. And what would you do on a rainy day? Put on my galoshes. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you think about what I told you. Possible. You gotta help me think of something to do with that boy. Didn't want my opinion a few minutes ago. I don't know why I should give it to you now. Oh, come on. Stop the pouting, honey. This is serious. That kid spends money like there's no tomorrow. I could just see him 20 years from now, his wife and kids starving to death while he's out treating the whole neighborhood to ice cream cones. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? That's what I'd like to know. What can I do about it? Oh, I don't know. We don't want him to be a miser, but no. then we don't want him to be a financial idiot either. No. Oh, maybe I'm making too big a thing out of it. He's just a kid. As he gets a little older, he'll have more appreciation for the dollar. Danny, now is the time to start teaching him. You know what they say, as the twig is bent, the tree will grow. Yeah. If my tree keeps growing like that, my bank account's gonna be bent. <laughs> Danny, yeah. what if he had some money of his own? I mean, a pretty good sum of it, all his own. Maybe he wouldn't be quite so anxious to throw it away. Yeah. He'd have a kind of a feeling of responsibility about it, wouldn't he? Mm-hmm. Suppose I give him twenty, twenty-five dollars. Honey, that isn't the idea. Mm -hmm. It has to be his money, not yours, that you just happen to give him. Yeah? How do you propose it is gonna get this money that's all his and not mine? Well, I don't know right now, but I'm sure we'll think of some way. Say, Daddy! Yeah? Is this good? It's a quarter, sure, why? Well, I was digging around in my toy chest, and I found it, but it looked kind of funny, and I wasn't sure. Well, that's because it's all old and battered here. It's oh, good. but it's still spendable, huh? Oh, sure. Oh, well, thanks, Dad. Hey, Rod. Yeah? Come, come here a minute. Here. Here, and I'll trade you. Give me that quarter, you take this quarter. Why? Well, this is an old coin. It could be a rare coin. You know, collectors pay a lot of money for these coins. They do? Sure, and if it's worth anything, well, it'll be all yours. Really? Sure. Golly, good luck, you Dad. You just run along, run along. Let me okay. see if I can get something for you. Gee, I hope so. Yeah, fine, fine, fine. How do you like that for a coincidence, huh? Here we're trying to think of some way to get him some money that's all his, and he walks in with this rare coin. If you saw it in the movies or on television, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> Daddy, you, you don't really think that that dirty old quarter's worth anything. Honey, this dirty old quarter's a rare coin. Could be worth $20, $25. $25? I'll bet it's worth $50. I'm sure of it. It's worth $50. Well, if you think it's worth $50, it could be worth even more. No, no, no. Well, I'm going to sell it to won't pay more than $50. <laughs> Who are you going to sell it to? Me. <laughs> well, as the twig is bent, the tree shall grow. 50 oh. twig benders. What? <laughs> 50 singles. 50 singles? Why all singles? Well, honey, if I give them five tens or ten fives, it wouldn't seem like so much. But 50 singles, that's really $50. Oh. Now, this is all his, isn't it? Oh. To do with as he wishes. You betcha. I'm going to say to him, son, here it is. $50. Do whatever you want with it, boy. 
Oh, dear. Matter? Well, by this time tomorrow, this could all be a quarter again. <laughs> I know, but we're gonna have to take that chance. Hello, we're home. Oh, uh, in the kitchen, son. Well, here goes. Either he learns a lesson or has an early Christmas. <laughs> Hi, how close you can. Hello, Lebo. Mm, you look so pretty today. How was it at school? Fine. Wonderful, wonderful. Son, I'd like to talk to you. Yeah, what about? Well, you uh... You me that dollar after all? No, I'm not going to loan you any dollar, but I am going to give you what's yours. What's that? You remember that uh, old coin you found in your uh, little toy chest? Mm-hmm. I told you it might be worth something. Mm-hmm. Well, here's your money. <laughs> how about that? That from that quarter? Yep. It's mine? It's all yours. Go ahead, take it. You'll hit me. No! <laughs> <laughs> Darling, it's yours. Take it. Right here. here. It's mine? Yours. All mine? I, I, I don't have to give it back? It's really mine? Really, really, really mine? You aren't gonna hold it for me? I can do anything I want with it? Happy days are here again! Oh, Rusty, you're a millionaire! Yeah! Golly, what a feeling to know I can get anything I want! Yeah, come on, let's go down and get the whole gang and have some soda! Yeah, come on! <laughs> Wait a minute. Suppose I go get the sodas for all the gang and then find out I don't have enough money if I want to buy something later because I bought all the sodas. All right, then let's just get sodas for you and me. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's the matter? What do we need sodas for? After all, we got cookies and milk. That's right, Russell. Oh, why don't you just put that money in the bank? Yeah. And, uh, then when you need some, you can go and get it out again. That's a good idea. I'm gonna go down and put it in the bank right now. Yeah, come on. Come on. on. Glory, hallelujah. How about that? Banks get robbed, don't they? <laughs> very rarely. Very rarely? Very, very rarely. Okay. Fine. Suppose mine is one of the rare ones. Oh, go put your... <laughs> Yes, Rusty did not put his money in the bank. Now, how do you know that? Because I'm sure he's hiding it in his room. How do you know? There's a sign on his door. Attention. Anyone entering this room without permission will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. <laughs> well, he's just a kid having fun, honey. I'm sure he's put it in the bank. I don't play I that game and I don't want to play it anymore. And I'm never going to play with you anymore. What's your problem? He's terrible. He asked me to play a new game with him. I told him I didn't like the game, but he made me play it with him anyway. What game? Watching him count his money. <laughs> That's his new game? Yeah, and I hate it. Before I play, he makes me change from my jeans to a skirt. Jeans to a skirt? Why? A skirt doesn't have any pockets. <laughs> Daddy, this is terrible. Well, I didn't mind that so much, but when I told him I wanted to leave, he tried to search me. <laughs> he did. Yeah. Boy, he was much nicer when he was poor. <laughs> well, we certainly taught our son how to handle money, didn't we, honey? Yes, and handle it, and handle it, and handle it. <laughs> Boys. Is Rusty here, Mrs. Williams? Oh, yes, I'll call him. All right, fellas. Hi, Hi, Mrs. Williams. Red and Benji are here to see you. Oh, hi, Russ. Hi, Russ. Come on, hi. we gotta go get sodas. You came all the way up here just to tell me that? Huh? We wanted you to come with us. Why? Why? Because you always do. Not always. Only when you didn't have the money. Oh, so now you know I've got the money, huh? Huh? Hmm. Words out. Oh, Rusty's got plenty of money, huh? Better be nice to him, huh? Who knows, if you're nice enough to him, maybe he'll treat, huh? Rusty, what is the matter with you? Are you nutty or something? Sure, I'm nutty, like a fox. No thanks, fellas. I don't want to go for sodas today. You'll have to buy your own. It'll be a pleasure. Come on, Benji. What is this? How could 
could you treat your friends like that? Well, I wouldn't blame them if they never spoke to you again. Good. That'll be two less after my money. <laughs> after you... You're getting kind of silly, aren't you, boy? Well, this is ridiculous. It's all right to save for a rainy day, but you're preparing for a flood. <laughs> Let money be that important to you. Don't let it change you like this. Relax. Enjoy it. That's right. Enjoy it. Use the money. Don't let it use you. Have fun. Share it. Share it? That's not what you said a couple of days ago. Well, that, that was Why just... are you saying it now? Well, that was because... What have you got on your mind? I've got nothing on my... Listen, Russell, that $50... It's mine. Every cent is mine. You said so yourself. And nobody's going to take it away from me. Every cent is mine. Nobody's going to take it away. Ru now, Russ. Why? <laughs> this is awful. How do you like that? When he had only a dollar, he was a good time Charlie. Now he's got $50 and he's a miser. <laughs> no, it's silly. It's just like the story. What story? The story about the rabble rouser in Union Square. You know, the guy who keeps screaming, Comrade, we share and share alike. Always what we have, we share together. If I got two yachts, I give you one yacht. If I got two mansions, I give you one mansion. One little man stood up and said, Comrade, if you got two shirts, you give me one shirt? He said, no. He said, why not? He said, because I got two shirts. <laughs> than a burglar alarm? Has he got booby traps now? Oh, worse. He's so suspicious of everyone, so concerned about his money that now he's carrying it around with him all the time. Oh. The whole $50? Yes. And you know, there are a lot of tough boys in his school, and if the word gets out that Rusty's got a lot of money on him, and it will, they're liable to beat him up. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, oh, honey, I don't know what to do about it. Well, we're just going to have to take that money away from him. Oh, I'd hate to do that, sweetheart. I mean, we told him it was his. Well, I hate to do it as much as you do, but it's, it's just not working out. Oh, he's probably too young. We've expected too much of him at his age. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I sure am a bust as a father. Oh, now, don't blame yourself. Well, else can I blame? It was my idea. Well, you didn't realize he was going so far. Gee, my kid, my rusty, a tight-fisted penny pincher. I just don't believe it. Hi. How are the two most wonderful parents in the world? What are you so jolly about? I'm happy. That's nice. Too bad everybody else in this house isn't happy. Look, son, I, 
I, I, I want to talk to you. Oh, before you do, can I have a dollar? <laughs> can you have a dollar? You want money from me? I was going to ask you for some. Well, you're a little late. I'm broke. I knew it. Those boys took it away from you, didn't they? Nobody took it away from me. Well, what happened? Well, Daddy, last night I got to thinking. What was I getting out of being rich? No sleep at nights because what, what if somebody took my money and I was poor again? My sister hating me. My friends thinking I was a stinker, and I was. <laughs> oh, it made me pretty unhappy. So I figured there was only one thing to do with the money, and I did it. What's that? I gave it away. You gave it away? <laughs> what do you mean, you gave it away? You well, think you... money grows on trees? Well, you said it was mine, and I could do anything I well, wanted. Well, sure, but you just can't give it away. I gave it to the community chest. I don't care. Oh, Ratty. That's the best money you'll ever spend. You did a good thing. You know, this taught me a good lesson. A fella doesn't need money to be happy. He can be happy even if he's broke. Oh, good boy. You know, that fella who said money isn't everything sure knew what he was talking about. That's good, son. Can I have that dollar? <laughs> yeah, I, I think you can have a dollar. Thanks, Dad. I'm glad you learned that lesson, son. You really believe it, don't you? Sure. You, you, you don't have to have money to be happy, right? No. Fine. Give me back the dollar. I want you to be happy. <laughs> I've studied life and I've been taught that wealth is disillusion. And after lots of careful thought, I have come to this conclusion that anyone with a million dollars can be a millionaire. But a poor man can be poor without a cent. <laughs> Money doesn't mean a thing to a person's mental state. For a man with seven million is as happy as a man who has eight. <laughs> so anyone with a lot of dough can be a wealthy man. But a pauper can be poor when he is a broke. Can money by you romance as life unfolds its span or the richness of a friendship that a man has for a man or the loyalty of a loved one you bet your life it can because the best things in life aren't free. <laughs> you know, they say... Hey, Daddy, I'm glad you're home. Boy, I'm glad to see you. <laughs> oh, yes, the theme song of the Gimme Bird. <laughs> okay, how much is it this time? But I warn you, kid, your account is running off a loop. Daddy, I don't want any money from you. I want to give you this. Well... Uh? What is this? It's a note from my teacher. You know, I had a hard time convincing her where I got that $50. No kidding. Yeah. And she didn't believe those 19, 17 quarters are rare? No, I finally convinced her. Well, that's good. There's no note here. There's just a coin pasted here. Yeah, that's hers. It's a 19, 17 quarter. <laughs> Bring her the $50 in the morning. <laughs>